recently, I've been getting some good tail stop to tail stop burial underflips, so I wanted to share what was working for me. There are three main things I had to get worked out for these, which were the front foot, the back foot, and the jump. So let's start with the front foot. I keep my front foot right in the center of the deck or a little bit higher and place my toes right under the rail of the deck. Some skaters bring their foot up much higher and others keep their foot right next to the wheels. Near the center or just above it is working really well for me right now. The important thing is what I do with it. All I want the front foot to do is grab the rail for tension and then flick and pull straight up. That's it. It pulls straight up to create a preloaded tension, it flicks straight up during the flip, and then I try to hold it up during the jump and after I land. When I first started to do underflips, I pulled these to the side, which probably helped me land more bolts than tail, but it also encouraged me to jump sideways, which made landing back to the tail almost impossible for me. For my back foot, I do ride a double kick, but I still use the nose. The narrower end of my board tends to flip a little bit easier with these, but experiment with your board and see what it feels comfortable for you. I put my toes just outside of the pocket and let my toes hang over the toe side edge. Now what I want to do with my back foot is a bit more complicated than pulling up 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 with the front one, but I'm going to do my best to break it down as clearly as I can because it was the single biggest factor taking me from almost zero underflips to high consistency. Really simply, what I do is actually rock forward from my heel onto the ball of my foot, I jump off of the ball of my foot, and then scoop. I keep my back foot flat or even stand a little bit heel heavy, and then I start to pull up with my front toes on the deck to create a preloaded tension. Then I rock forward onto my toes, onto the ball of my foot, and when I jump up, I scoop the board the same way I scoop a Casper. I push my toes in a little bit as I come up, and I scoop in this direction, almost as if I wanted to click my heels together. So you preload with the back and the front foot, and then you release that tension by rolling forward onto the ball of your foot, jumping up and scooping towards the nose. The jump really ties these motions together, and it has two parts in my mind, the direction and the timing. First of all, I am jumping up and forward just a little bit, so for many months I wanted to jump to the side instead of straight up, and by the time that I could jump straight up, I could no longer land on the tail because it went in front of me which meant I either had to get a more controlled scoop or jump forward more to catch it. Right now, I'm trying to settle in the middle with a small hop forward and trying to get the scoop as controlled as possible. But this is just going to take years of practice. So when you roll forward onto the ball of your foot, you can continue this momentum and jump forward or even a tiny bit forward and to the side, but do not just jump to the side of your tail. Then just remember timing. Preload, roll forward and jump, and then scoop as you come up. This helped me get a much better flip in place, bringing my weight off of the tail and then letting it flip and spin, thanks to that preloaded tension and scoop. Now to work on this, I would recommend following or taking inspiration from the following four steps. This was the order that I started to work on these in and they're very simple. They're just filled with a lot of experimentation. Step one, experiment with foot placement and scoop. Move your front foot around, move your back foot around. Experiment with the scoop direction. Just start flipping the board and looking for patterns. Step two, start flipping and then landing on just one foot. This might be the hardest part, getting used to landing on one foot. If you haven't learned any other tricks to a single footed tail stop position, you might just need to build up some strength and stability here, so do this as long as you need to. Step three, start trying to bring the back foot up. I struggled here for such a long time, it really took me months to get my back foot to come up. I don't know why it was so hard for me, 
But luckily, that roll forward I mentioned helped a lot because the momentum helps to propel that back foot up a bit. So even if you completely miss the board, that's totally okay. Just try and start bringing that back foot up. Step four is to fine tune the jump. This is where that roll forward helped me out the most. Once you're starting to get the flip and your feet to do what they need to, try to pinpoint the jump. Try to find the tail as it comes around and stomp it into the ground. This is such a satisfying trick to do, so I really hope you can have a lot of fun learning it and got something out of this video because it is definitely worth the struggle. Thank you.